Whether you're a player that struggles with getting the club a little bit too far over the top out in front of you, or getting this club stuck from the inside, you really need to understand the relationship of how shifting with the body and rotating with the body is going to change those factors or those, uh, the matchups there that are necessary to fix the patterns we want to improve. So if you are a player that struggles with getting this club a little bit too far over the top and your main focus is focusing on rotation, you're probably going to make your over the top move even worse. If you're a player that struggles with getting this club stuck too far from the inside and your swing thought is really trying to make sure you're shifting to your front side and finishing on the front side without rotating, again, you're probably making that problem worse too. So you have to understand if you're trying to fix those, what are some of the factors that are in play here and how does the movement of the body play a role? So typically, if we are looking at body rotation and what that's going to do to the hand path, so I'm not going to have any lateral shift here. I'm basically just going to kind of shift and spin in, pla uh, spin in place. If I get up to the top and all I do is rotate without sliding my body forward, you're gonna see my hands are going to work a little bit more out in front of me. That is something that's going to get that path a little bit more out to in or contribute to a little bit more of an over the top pattern. If you are a player that struggles with a lot of lateral slide, meaning that these hips start to shift towards the target without rotating, my chest stays very close to the target and my front shoulder really starts to elevate as I start to slide forward, that is going to be a pattern that really gets this club stuck back underneath, back behind you. From there, that's where we'll see a lot of players hit big uh, blocks or they will swing very out to end, flip it and hit snap hooks. So if you are a player that is trying to focus on rotating the body more, but you already come over the top, you're going to make that problem worse because if that club is already in a more steep position, now you add rotation, that club is going to get even further out in front of you. And again, if you're a player that's underneath and you start to kind of focus on shifting that weight forward, getting to that front side without turning, you're gonna get that club even further stuck back behind you. So that's where it's important to match up the body movements with the uh, kind of swing fault there. So if you are a player that is typically coming over the top and slicing it, there are many reasons that I will see players start to get a little bit too much of that rotation move and not so much of the kind of lateral shift where they get to the top and feel hips start to go out in front of them or kind of hips kind of work in front of the upper body there as that spine maintains its tilt back behind the golf ball. I'll see a lot of players that will lose that and they'll start to lean this spine forward. Lead shoulder gets a little overactive, meaning players will almost spin out of it with the upper body too quickly, club gets thrown over the top. So this is where individual uh, lessons or instruction is very important to kind of get to that root cause. A couple of more common ones I will see is I will see players that will really start to lean the spine forward at the top of the swing or kick the hips back away from the target and they will get into this position. From here, it's almost impossible to create a lot of separation between the upper and lower body or get these hips out in front. Usually from this spot, players will start to rotate. That lead shoulder is sort of stacked forward and on top of these hips here. So now they get a lot of rotation going without a lot of shift and that club is going to work itself very over the top. Another is going to be players that will have a lot of lateral movement towards the target with the head in transition to start the downswing where players may load behind it okay, but then they start to shift the head forward and usually as that happens, the spine is going to start to lean forward getting you into the exact position we just discussed. So that's where fixing those kind of core issues is important or so having more of a feel um, where you may have heard the kind of keep the back to the target feel um, a little bit longer in transition where you get to the top of the swing and you almost feel like the hips are sort of the first thing to start the, uh, the downswing or that transition move where you get up to the top, hips start to kind of kick out in front of you and then start to rotate as that back stays closed off to the target a little bit more rather than letting that lead shoulder rotate and open up to the target too quickly. So if you are a player that struggles with getting this club stuck a little bit too far from the inside, you need to adopt more of the rotation feels. You need to do something to get this club a little bit more out in front of you, because if you continue to slide and get stuck, club's going to be too far from the inside, you're gonna swing way out to the right, and then you are going to have issues there. So this is where I will typically recommend uh, some players like upper body feels, some like lower body feels, but essentially we need to feel like the belt buckle and or the shirt buttons or the center of the chest or the sternum, however you want to think of that, is rotating more open to the target rather than sliding. So we can feel like as we, if we put a club up across the chest here, we can feel like the end of the club turns and stays level to the ground longer rather than starting to tilt up towards the sky. You can have the same type of feel with the hips, feeling like the hips stay more level to the ground rather than the front hip really elevating. That's what's going to cause a lot of the lateral shift and cause this club to drop behind you. 
If you want to, you can grab a golf bag, preferably one from Stitch, and you can get this thing set up and you can almost feel like on the downswing, you are trying to feel like you don't let the space from this golf bag increase too drastically on the way down. You can feel like as you are turning, you maintain the space between the back hip and the back pocket and that golf bag a little bit more rather than starting to slide. So all of that to say, if you are a player that is struggling with coming over the top, rotation may not be the best feel for you. If you struggle with getting stuck underneath, having a lot of sliding and shifting probably is not the best feel for you. You have to sort of adopt the patterns of the uh, kind of the one that you want to improve. So if you're coming over the top, you may need to feel a little bit more of that lateral shift or fix the root cause of what's causing you to get a little overactive in that upper body and rotate too much. If you are a player that's struggling with the hooks, you need to feel more of those rotation feels. So hope that makes sense. Any questions, as always, please be, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will try to get back to everyone.